What's up guys, this is EB Macintosh Tips. This is Scooter, how's it going out there guys? All right, today we're gonna have a group tutorial. It's gonna be a different tutorial for Macintosh Tips. It's gonna be over green screening, how to green screen, the most effective, cheapest, and professional way to green screen. All right, Scooter, how are you gonna explain this? All right, well now green screens are very amazing, all right? The weatherman uses green screens and even movie theaters use green screens, all right? Because you can do a lot of things. You can do this and even this. All right, so as you can see, with the green screen, your imagination can go wild, guys. So just listen to these tips, guys. I'm pretty sure you'll be on the way to make some great green screen movies. That right, sounds good. All right, I'm talking about the three things that you need to make a green screen. One is for something green, okay? okay. Whether it be a green screen, a green wall, paint, um, or a poster board. So you, if you're a tight wad, you can go to, 99, uh, you can go to Walmart, pick up some uh, 39 cent green poster board and just Definitely. tape it with some clear scotch tape or staples. Just make sure that when you tack it up, it's either green tacks like we use or something effective that you cannot see, right. okay? Um, the second thing you need is lights, okay? I cannot emphasize on that enough. Lights is the most important thing when using a green screen um, and you can use that by two ways. One is good flush on lighting um, or two, using a lamp or construction lighting if you're not doing the green screen outside, all right? And the last one would be have to have to be a software that does chroma key. Okay, chroma key is when you take the green and you blur it out and replace it with an image like this. Okay, Definitely. and of course like this. There you go. Okay, um, and we're going to be using uh, the software I'm going to be going on today. To show you all how to do chroma key the easiest and eff most effective way. Scooter, let's talk about the little do's and don'ts when using your green screen. All right, whatever you just said, you want to do that. You want to have the green, you want to have the lights, and the software. But now once you have the green, you don't want to dress in green. So you even want to have a script in green. Don't read off green paper. And you even don't want to have green in front of you just like that. It's a bad idea, guys. Don't want that to happen. So make sure you wear something different from green. That way you have one clean, consistent uh, background here behind you. Also, you want to iron your green screen. No wrinkles. The more wrinkles, the more the image will be wrinkly and it will just throw it all off, guys. So make sure you iron, iron, and more iron. Your green screen, get all the wrinkles out. And then lights. Yes, you said you want to have lights, but you don't want to have uneven lights. All right, so make sure you want to have the same amount behind you as in front of you, guys. The more you have in front of you, the back will be messed up. The more you have behind you, the front will be messed up. So even lighting is key when you're doing the green screen, guys. So those are three consistent uh, do's and don'ts right there. If you follow those, I think you'll be pretty good. All right, the last key to lighting, I'm gonna show you guys the best diagram here overlay to this video. And if you guys follow this diagram, more than likely you'll have 100% success when setting up your green screen. Of course, like Scooter said, having good, consistent, bright lighting. All right, now we're gonna switch over to screen flow and show you guys how to import your footage and edit Chroma King and iMovie 09. Oh, you guys, you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace guys. Peace. All right, guys, so when you're ready to go ahead and chroma key your project, there's two things you need. One, of course, is your actual footage with the green screen behind it with good lighting, and two is the image you're going to use for this project. And this, In this project, I'm going to go ahead and use this um, image I found of China. And of course, for our demo video, the footage I'm going to use is the same footage I used for this actual video previously that you saw in this video. All right, now the first thing you want to do is very important is go ahead to go to iMovie in iMovie 09 and go to Preferences. Once you go to preferences, you're going to want to click on show advanced tools. This way you can use things like toolbar, keyboard controls, cutaways, picture in picture, and of course green screen. This is the most important one. So make sure you do click this. If not, you can't do green screen. Okay. So you can go ahead and exit out of that. And uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take your image and drag it into iMovie. All right. You can do it through here or you can just select it right here your image folder which is located already in the iMovie toolbar. I'll go ahead in here and expand this to however long I want the video. So I'm going to say I want it to play for 15 seconds. Um, this is the one thing I don't really like about iMovie is you actually, you actually have to um, put the picture or footage down first you want the background before you put the green screen um, footage on top of it and instead of vice versa. So that's one thing that's kind of a con about uh, iMovie but it's still it's a great job uh, when using chroma key. So go ahead and select some footage down here. Uh, I'll use about 10 to 15 seconds and that's fine. Go ahead and click and drag it up to where you want it to come in and you'll have a pop-up menu and you'll go down to green screen. Now of course if your chroma key is right and your lighting is correct then you should have a very nice effect just like this. Let's go ahead and play through it and see how it looks. Perfect. Now, in, in your iMovie, 
um, if it's a, if you have an older computer, it might look a little glitchy because it has to handle a lot of graphics uh, with the green screen, Chrome King, stuff like that. But once you export, it'll look very nice and very smooth, um, just like this. So it won't be as glitchy, just like you guys saw in this previous video. All right, guys. Well, this is a very very short tutorial in iMovie how to Chrome key, and of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the tips previously. Uh, in this video and of course you guys leave a video response down below showing you your cool movie effects that you can do with your um, green screen of course the tips that you used from this video hope you guys enjoy these bloopers and of course more effects we did with the green screen in the end of this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace